Um, so I think I've met you both before. I'm Sue Godfrey, and I'm joined by my colleague, Kate. Kate, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, sure. Nice to meet you both or see you both here again. Um, Kate Weber with the uh, Alumni Engagement Office. Work with Sue on some of these mentoring initiatives. And then Betsy was a mentor last year and your um, mentee wrote several different things that I read, um, encouraged by your mentorship. So thank you for being here today. Oh, Grace, Grace is a, a really special student. I, I think I'll be working for her someday, but uh, <laughs> and she's been really fun to work with. Oh, well, that's great. Well, that's great. And Tom is new and we're glad to have you here, Tom. So thank you. Um, so I think I said I'm director of mentoring programs here at the foundation. I say here because that's where I am and it is sunny today, thankfully. So um, we designed these sessions to go fairly quickly um, and keep it ra rather simple. We're happy to answer questions as we go along, obviously, when it's this small. Um, so we'll just talk today about what is top 100. We'll go over an overview of the program changes for 2024, the expectations for both mentors and mentees, um, and a little overview of Cardinal Connect. Kate will come in for that um, and questions and wrap up. So first, um, what is Top 100? Well, it's a it's a program that was that was started just several years ago. Um, I believe we're in our third cohort now. Um, to grow a culture of beneficence through honoring outstanding undergraduates and really to help our undergraduate students begin to think about beneficence while they're still here on campus. Uh, there is a group of alumni who review applications um, and then score the students who excel in academic excellence, campus leadership, and community impact. Through my work with the Top 100 Mentoring, I've gotten to read. I've been able to read a lot of those applications and just continue to be really impressed by our students. Um, it's really neat that I think I think you're right. Grace is incredible, and I think there are many incredible students that we get to rec recognize in this um, through this program. Any questions about what Top 100 is? Right. So basics for top 100, um, it will continue to be a mentoring program, uh, primarily virtual. It doesn't need to be location-based, although if you are in the area, I think students love to be able to meet face-to-face -face, um, as one of the pieces of feedback we've gotten from um, student um, focus groups. And the student self-select. So actually yesterday, the top 100 for 2024 um, were announced, and we already have almost two dozen that have raised their hand and say that they want to be involved, and we'll see more of those as the next over the next few days, I'm sure. The program will still be managed over Cardinals Connect, and we will still have four surveys as part of the milestones. Last year, we did those a little bit separate, and they'll be embedded together this year. A few changes for our 2024. We definitely learned a lot last year. Um, and I'm so grateful for the graciousness as we worked through some of the kinks. Um, we'll, we'll have a launch meeting this year. That will be different. Um, we are working to embed our training into um, a couple of different things. And so we will have um, part of the meeting will be some brief training on communication and other key things to keep in mind as you're um, serving as a mentor. And we will invite both mentors and mentees to that um, with the hope that we'll be able to introduce you. So we'll have breakout rooms at the end of that. Shouldn't last more than an hour, um, but there will be time of course to, to meet if both parties and a mentor match are available. Uh, we are having a shortened time frame. That was one of the pieces of feedback last year. The program was scheduled to last into um, September and we saw just um, a drop off in the communication for those who were not intending to continue to meet after the program. Um, and 
Research shows that the more frequently you can meet, the deeper your relationship can get quicker. Just um, common common sense, I think. And so with that shorter time frame, encouraged to meet twice per month or eight times. We also have an in-person opportunity this year um, is a little bit different. We'll be working with the Cardinal Networking Forum, um, which will take place in Indianapolis. The tentative date for that is June 6th. Obviously, people who are not in the area would not come to that, but it would be an opportunity to do some practice of networking with your mentee uh, with other Ball State alums. Right. So what is the commitment? We ask the mentors to initiate and maintain communication. Um, we really ask both to initiate and maintain communication, but we do put that initiation um, more solidly on the mentor. Um, we found that students are really worried that they are a bother to you. And if you initiate the mentorship, then they feel more comfortable that you are interested. Um, we ask you to, like I said, meet twice per month, uh, approximately eight times over the course of the mentorship program and complete the four milestones. The, the surveys really are the most important part there. Um, the milestones have questions, that the guiding questions that you may use um, in your mentorship, um, if that is helpful to you. Um, they give you benchmarks on kind of where your relationship might be. Um, We'll ask you to use reflection to share your insights from your professional experience and wisdom. Um, we ask that you think about providing industry connections for your student um, as appropriate. And then to reach out to me or to Kate um, if you have concerns, if your student's not contacting you, really anything that kind of raises that red flag, um, please feel free to re reach out to us. We are here to help. Um, my background's in youth mentoring with a lot of training in how to work through some of the difficulties that um, you can run into. And the biggest thing that makes a mentor relationship fail is just one party or the other um, not being communicative. And so that's where we can step in and help if that does happen. Um, we do also this year want to make the caveat that um, we may not have enough students for all of the that match appropriately with all of the mentors who volunteer. So just be aware, there is a possibility that um, you may not be matched, but we will work to let you know that before that May 9th or March 19th launch date. Student commitments are very similar, maintaining communication, um, come prepared to ask and answer questions and um, complete the milestones and seek support if there are problems or concerns. All right, any questions before I hand things over to Kate? All right, Lou, I see you joined us. Welcome, mm -hmm. glad you're here. Yes, yeah, sorry I was late. Hey, no problem. We can loop back to anything you need to. <laughs> Once we're done. So Kate, I'll pass it right over now. to you. Yeah, sounds great. Um, hi, everyone. Lou, I'm Kate Weber. I'm here, a senior director here at the foundation in the alumni engagement office. Just wanted to put a name with the face before getting started. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick overview of the Cardinals Connect um, online platform just to give you an idea of the basics needed for this program. And I know Betsy's been with us before, so you may be more familiar with what I'm going to going to talk about. Um, and then for I'm not sure if Tom or Lou, if you already have um, accounts yet or not on the platform, but if not, and you need me to fill in some blanks, if I'm kind of going through this a little too quickly, um, feel free to reach out after this meeting and I'll be happy to, to walk you through. Um, let me share my screen real quick. See that all right? Perfect. All right, so when you log into Cardinals Connect, this is our main home screen. This is kind of um, where you're gonna find all of our main menus here along the left-hand side. There's two areas that I just wanna cover real quickly today. That's groups and the mentoring tab. So within groups, these are basically just mini platforms within the platform for our particular area. So you can either use the shortcut up here, click top 100 to find our group, or you can type it in along the top for it to pop up or just navigate through that full list below. But once you get into the top 100 mentoring program group, you're gonna see, like I said, kind of a mini platform within a platform. 
So this is our feed. Um, anything you post in this group is only going to be visible to other group members. So we've got over 8,500 people on Cardinals Connect, but only the, how many people are in here, Sue? Probably 80 people. So only the 80 people that are in this group are going to see what you post on this feed. So you can ask questions, you can, um, you know, post, I don't know, opinions, post pictures, whatever you want to do in this space, and only our group will be able to see that. And then there's tabs along the top up here, so you can see what other members are here in the group. Um, you know, you can click on them, learn a little bit more about their background, where they're from, that kind of thing. It's sort of like a LinkedIn profile if you have an interest in getting to see other people on here. You can also use the filters to search for maybe other people in your major or your sorority or fraternity to see if any of those other folks with common interests are in this group as well. There's a jobs board here, we don't use that. Um, we do have a main jobs board where we post everything from the Career Center. We've got a photo album here, so nothing in there yet. Our hopes are if you have a Zoom call with your mentee or get together for coffee, snap a pic, post it in here. I think that um, activity is kind of inspirational for other people in the program to see. Uh, this events tab is also strictly just for this program. So we've got a main events tab here on the left-hand side. That's all alumni events. This events tab is just what we've got going on with this program. So if you know we've got something coming up and you can't remember the Zoom link, you can't remember the date, just click on in here and you can get to all that information. Uh, the resources is also a helpful area. So Sue has put together a lot of great information in our resources uh, folder. So you'll see a guide for mentors with helpful tips and tricks on how to communicate with your mentee or um, We've got our overall calendar and milestones. So if you forget what you're supposed to do at your next meeting, you can find that here. If you forget when that in-person event is, you can find that here. Um, we also have uh, tutorials on you know, how to check off your milestones, which we'll get to as the program develops as well. Um, in here. We also have past recordings of these trainings. So again, if you just need a deeper dive into some of these content areas, you can just come on in here and rewatch those training programs at your pace and they're all here for you. So then moving on to the mentoring tab, this is where you're just going to um, navigate your matches and your activity within this program. So if you click this mentoring relationships option, you're gonna see who you're paired with. Once we do, once we connect you in the system, your, your mentee will show up in this area. You can message them on the platform straight from here. You can do a video call, you can schedule an appointment. And then if you click down on these details, it's gonna show all the milestones that we have mapped out for this program. So milestone one, introduce yourselves, set expectations, so on and so forth. Um, Sue will send out regular communications on when these milestones are due. And so basically when she does that, you just come on in and you click that you've completed them. I've successfully completed it. And that's just going to let Sue know that you're on track with the program. So she knows without having to email you or call you that you have completed these um, tasks for this program. And then so you can manage all of that in this space. Programs, you're not going to use too much, but our program will pop up. It's more of a back-end matching system, so you can kind of see the other, other matches. You can see milestones and manage those, again, in here as well. Um, so if you want to mark them complete, you can do that here. But this is where you are going to find the surveys that she mentioned. So a lot of times if we do internal surveys on the platform, you can find that under Mentoring Programs Surveys. Um, and then the last thing I want to touch on is settings. So at any time, you can come in and adjust what you're offering and what you're seeking. So if you decide that you want to start participating in practice interviews at any time, you can come on in and click that. So when we're searching on our end for people to reach out to for those programs, your name will populate. Um, and then up here, you can select also the maximum number of people that you want to mentor at a time. So that you really only have the capacity to mentor one student at any given time. If you put a one in here, what that does is once you're matched with a student in the platform, that willing to help option will disappear from your profile and no other student will be able to reach out to request mentoring from you. So that um, is a good just safeguard if you really only have the capacity. I don't think people are reaching out left and right. So 
it shouldn't be an issue. But if you really do, if you really are concerned about students reaching out and you not having the capacity, you can adjust that here. Um, so that's the that's the quick the quick quick version of Cardinals Connect and um, the two main areas that you will use most with this program. So any questions regarding the platform or navigation? So I just went out there and I used my LinkedIn to authenticate and then uh -huh. I just sent something on the group 100. So then you guys will authorize me to come in. Yeah. Is that yep. the next step? Yeah. Yep, that should be waiting for us when we're finished with this and we'll get you connected on that back end. And I'm sorry, I didn't follow. So matching with the student do you match us up or do I use this? Yeah, um, we'll, yeah, we'll match you up. Okay. We have um, students fill out questionnaires and, and the mentors. And so then we'll kind of look through basic common interests and, and kind of try to find the best match. Okay. For each student. Yeah, in an ideal world, the system would be set up well enough that we could do the matching there. But right now, um, people's pro profiles aren't quite complete enough for us to do to do that very well okay yeah um all right other questions thoughts anything to share yeah. all right you're an easy crowd <laughs> so Sue, i guess next steps we've got um they'll hear from you right if with a potential match and then we've got the the meet the opening kickoff meeting on March 19th. What's yes. That? Yes, I'll send um I'll send information out um that week of the 19th if you want to earmark. Um I think that falls on a Tuesday. So that week prior by the 15th you'll have an email um is the goal with your match. So that everyone knows before that meeting on the 19th. Great. Okay. Yeah. Glad to help. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for offering yeah. up your time and your expertise because I know these students really enjoy this program. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for okay. thanks for walking us through it. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. Yep. Have a great day. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, you everyone. Too. thanks you everybody. Thanks for being here. Let us know if you have questions, please. Hey, I do have one question that's unrelated to this, uh, but related to <laughs> students. Interns, you know, we have a pretty robust intern program here mm -hmm. for all disciplines. To kind of look at that at Ball State, do I have to go through each department? No, we could, Lou, we'll connect you with our friends over in the Career Center, and I bet that okay. they, they can kind of dole that out for you. Okay, be great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.